so this spot should be familiar to you guys. This is the cabin that we pretty much abandoned because it's just not safe to be here right now unless we get some kind of fortifications up. But what I've been doing for the first part of today is just going around collecting stuff that I've stashed. So little areas that I know I've kept things in like water or food or tools and stuff or even components and scrap. I've just been collecting a whole bunch of it as you can see here. I am running a little bit low on food though so we do need to go back home soon. But welcome back to Mist. I wanted to let you guys know we've officially survived over three weeks in this infected world and it's as close as makes no difference to pretty much 8 a.m. in the morning. Now what I wanted to get done for today is I wanted to build the bow and I really want to teach myself to hunt because using bullets or using ammunition in general is just not good. Like it's not going to be good for my health because if we need to push a bandit camp or something in desperate need for supplies I'm not going to have the ammunition in reserve so if I can make a bow and arrow it's going to go a long way because look, there's, there's wood everywhere. And I've got a decent supply of sticks and stuff. I'm really close to that road. This bit here makes me really nervous because I've seen the bear come into... Oh, there we go. That's exactly what I was just going to tell you guys. I've seen the bear come into this spot before. I do not want to be tangling with that guy. It's the last thing I want. So I'm just going to double back to this place over here. I think... Did I actually stash anything in this? I know there was two spots that I did keep some stuff, but I may have already come back for it. Oh, no. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. We need all of this. There we go. Some more components. Some more sugar. Nothing else, really. If you get any fuel, one and a half liters of fuel in that. Got to remember that, too. Anything inside of this? I would normally take that, but I came in the Range Rover today, and I don't really want to be stacking anything on the top of it. I don't think we left anything over in this camp. There is a box there. Oh, we got a machete in it too. I don't actually remember where I parked my car. Some components. I'll show you guys once I get back to the house what I've been working on. I did get the tannery up. Oh, we got some more tools there. I need to get another one of those safes going. I've got like some extra tools now, which are really going to be useful if I do build all this stuff that I want to get up. I think for the most part, that's everything around this area too. Do I want to take that or do I just want to leave it here? I don't think I need it right now, but... Yeah, no, we're golden. We're all right for now. I'll just leave it there. On the off chance that I need to kind of rotate back to this spot. And then I know there's a weapon here at least. So the first thing that I was looking at doing today was crafting some ammunition, which I have but gone back down into the mines. I've just collected what I can without risking too much. And I've made the tannery as well, which is 35%. Okay. So drying things out in this takes a hell of a long time. I actually need this to make the quiver with. But I don't know if I've got enough. That's why I actually made the tannery. You'll remember that I said I needed to make it to see how much we actually get. But even these things, the animal guts, they took a hell of a long time to dry. So you really got to be patient with this stuff. So let's do the first thing then. So we have some sulfur and some saltpeter. We've got some gunpowder there, some charcoal. Where is my mortar and pestle did i actually have the rifling cases as well yeah i do okay so we go to the reloading bench and which one do i want to make i'm kind of tempted to make the shotgun ammo but i i don't know how to repair the weapons yet still nine millimeter wouldn't be bad because i mean it gets a job done and i don't feel as bad once i run out of that ammunition because i, I am finding that still it's just really hard to find this stuff all right so let's just make the gunpowder anyway how much can we make we can make an extra four gunpowder so I don't actually know what that takes us to. I think we've got like over 10 gunpowder now. Or we could have way more than that. I'm not actually sure. Oh, we've got over 20 gunpowder now. All right, nice. So 25 in total. What do I need more of? Have I not got any more salt, Peter? Okay, definitely need to go and get some more of that. So I think I'm going to make the rifle and ammo. The only problem with the M4 for me is that when you try and do a single shot, sometimes it fires in bursts. So you get like two, three, even four shots out of it. So... You do waste ammunition. I haven't found the hunting rifle yet, but once I do, that's going to come in really useful because I can pick them off from a distance. I think I am just going to have to make this because it's got more kick behind it. And if I'm going to try and take on that big guy down in the tunnels, I think I'd rather have this ammo than the 9mm. All right, let's make this then. So what do we need? We need the cartridges, which should be here. Let's grab both of this. Go back into this and... How many can we make? Okay, this is going to take just under an hour, but I mean, we'll craft 25 of them. So at least we've got some ammunition in reserve now, but the main goal for today is at least get something going to make a bow and arrow with. Where's the ammunition? Right, so we've got 25 there. 
Let's throw all this stuff back inside. You can always come back to it. I, I've either noticed it's either really easy to get one or the other when you go down into the mines. It's really easy to get the sulfur or it's really easy to get the salt eater. There's not like a big supply of any of them. So again, you just have to be really patient with it. So let me break out the M4. Let's reload this up. 25 rounds ready to go. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. As soon as the mist comes around, are you trying to defend yourself at nighttime? And you blow through that so quick. Also, these windows, they're not 100% guaranteed to keep the infected out. I'll show you guys if it's still there. Where Scott is here, I think he's a little bit shell-shocked. Because last night, when I woke up at around like 5.40 a.m., there was infected all at the top of this, like Scott had been fighting them. Okay, so speaking of the bow and arrow, there is something else that I wanted to show you guys. I've made these, and I don't know why I haven't made them earlier, because they're super useful. You can actually poke the infected with these, as long as you are at a distance where you can keep them at bay. Oh, I do need those leaves. But if you can poke the uh, infected with these, they'll go down relatively easy, and you can throw them. Which is so useful to have something like that. Something really easy to be able to make, and then just use it over and over again. Is that one broken now? No, we're still good. I can't tell you guys how useful these things have been because, like, even though you guys haven't seen them, there's been certain times where I have had to fight the infected off. If you try and sleep and you keep getting woken up by the infected, you have to do something about it. So something like this comes in perfect, where you can just launch a load of them at them. I think I've only got this one left. Yeah, the others must have broke. But they are so, so useful. Okay, so another thing that I did go ahead and start planting is this. I've made a spot for crops. So... Apparently, I've just got to plant something and then water them. If I remember seeing it right, I think in this there was a watering can. I don't know where it was, though. There it is. Watering can. So we need eight scraps, two components, and ten nails. Oh, also, I did find these things. While I actually was fighting off the infected, a few of them dropped them. So once I did kill the infected, they dropped these things. They're called military component boxes. Oh, actually, with that being said now, we can actually upgrade the bench. So 15 scraps... And four gears. Where's all my gears? Okay, so it turns out that we don't actually have any gears left. So I'm going to have to make a few more of those. I think the only thing that I wanted to do with this anyway was upgrade it. So, oh, it was for the weapons. So, yeah, so that's the reason why I wanted to do that. If we get the gears, then we have access to making the weapons again. But one of the things that I have wanted to make for a little bit, because I think it will come in useful, is making one of these wooden shields. And then you can actually make like a reinforced version of it. I don't know, but I, I think being able to clear, like, buildings out with the infected, this thing will come in really, really useful. So I need one more. Okay, so wood, metal scraps, and then we should be good. Keeping the metal scraps down here. And then that should be everything we need. But like I say, if we need to clear, like, a building out or something, if I can lead with this so I'm not just completely exposed, or at least something like this, the upgraded version, you know, we're doing a lot better than just going in as a meat shield. If we apply this onto... I'm assuming it goes on the left hand because nothing else has. There we go. So slot number five. And there we go. So we can just block with this. Can we crouch with it? Nice. So if I need to enter a building and there's potentially infected or even bandits, I can just use this as a little bit of cover. I don't know how much it gives, but it's better than, like I say, just being a meat shield. So we can do... Can we actually throw something in our hand? Let's try that. And then... Okay, so you can. You can throw a melee weapon. What about an actual normal weapon, though? Can we just equip the pistol? Uh, okay, so the pistol actually stops the shield from coming up. Because once you right-click to ADS, that's what it uses to bring that up. What about the machete, though? That kind of feels more apocalyptic, right? Oh, yeah, there we go. If we want to go in... And clear out a load of the infected. Or again, even the bandits. We can do that. I just don't know how this will hold up against bullets. Oh, that's how it works. Okay, so I've been kind of wrecking my brain a little bit behind this. On how to make the biofuel. And I actually didn't really see this tab here. It says render fat. So if you place that in there, the animal fat. Okay, there we go. So we can use this as a storage. Basically, I didn't have any of these. I left them in camps around the map that I was always going to return to for things like bottles of water or little bits of food just in case I needed them but I did that today and I came across these again so I mean at least now once this thing boils off or it kind of I guess renders the fat let's throw the rest of it in then wait is it making it oh shit the mist is in 
I thought it made it smoky because we were boiling fat. Let's just get a little bit more of this. I don't actually know the reason why we need the biofuel, but I assume it comes in handy later on down the line. Okay, so it is collecting it. Just have to keep my eye on this. 0.18 of a litre. All right, so at least we got something on the go now. Now, I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, they're already coming in. I can see them. I guess we can test the brand new shield. Here we go. Oh, it does. Look, it stuns them. Okay, for some reason, I couldn't hit him, though. You still get a good few licks in, though. All right, yeah, we're, we're quite low on health because of that, but... I think with a little bit of practice, we'll get somewhere. All right, here's another one. Here we go. Let's block, and... There we go. So that stuns him. Okay, for some reason, I can't hit him once I stun him. That it? All right, so the secret is to crouch. Once you stun them like that... You have to get low to be able to get that swing in. Wait, there's one inside. How are they breaking through? And Scott's not doing anything either. It's going to be a problem if I don't take care of him. Can I just beat them with the shield? Just keep beating him? There we go. That's a lot more difficult than it looks. Glass bottle. How are they getting in, though? One of these must not be holding. Or either that or these guys are just letting them in through opening the door. God, that's so dangerous. I mean, look at my health. I've got to take a minute. I can't risk that. Still treating this as permadeath, guys. I know I'm taking a lot of risks and stuff, but still treating it as if it was me in this situation. So I'm just going to hold out, recover my energy and stuff, get my health back, and then we'll get back to it. Let's close everything up. What did I need to make the bow and arrow with? I wanted to, I think it was this. Yeah, it was this one because, yeah. All right. So the two dried animal guts collect you. I think it was the longbow because it packs more of a punch. Heavyweight, but could still shoot longer and more powerful. This is the one. So if we make this, should we make an AI work? Actually, you know what? Let's get Scott to do it. I actually like watching these guys do it. So if I've got that, what do I need to make? The arrows with though basic wooden arrow just sticks that's all you need for that practice arrow very low damage can we make anything in here though hunting arrow has high damage it could kill a person in one shot if using with the longbow that's why we wanted to make the longbow with it then so scott's gonna get on with doing that oh that's right as well we need still need to go down into the mines because of that quest that we got from scott so if we have got time we'll do that today all right, while you're doing that, Scott, and we're smelting down some metal to make those ingots, let's see if we can make the watering can, because I really want to get the crops going. So, craft time is 45 minutes. I shouldn't really be too much to worry about then. I think I've got to go to the nearest lake. I guess I've got to fill this thing up. I wonder if I can fill it up with my actual barrels here. Let's see. I can throw you in. Oh, I've actually got my watering bucket in there. Throw you in there. Let's just take a little bit out of that. Wait, that takes 15 liters? I thought that, that only took 10. Let me just check that real quick. Wait, yeah, it does. That takes 15 liters and that takes 10. Let's put that back in then. All right, good to know. So, I guess we come outside. Wait, I haven't got anything to plant it with yet. I want to know if I can plant the potatoes. Let's just take one of them. Let's take the healthiest one. And, sure, sweet corn... And the tomatoes. Why not? If I do this wrong, it will be a learning experience unlike no other because I would have wasted all my products. So if we go here and then have we got to equip one in hand or something? There we go. So you equip it to the hot bar and then plant and then the sweet corn. Oh yeah, there we go. Plant you. I think it gets rid of it, but it's still holding on to it. And then can we plant the potato as well? Okay, we can only eat that thing. This is what actually gave me food poisoning last time. I'm just going to leave those two in it for now then. Let me just put the potato back. Watering can. And... 
This is really making me need a pee. <laughs> oh, there we go. He's changing color. You can see that. Let's just keep going with it. I don't think you can overwater something. And again, I'm absolutely not a farmer. So we're learning as we go. Just keep watering it down. I guess when it changes color like that, it's got sufficient water. And maybe if it rains or something. All right, we need a little bit more water. Let's just fill this up again. I still can't believe this takes like 15 liters. And just a little bit more. So it turns the same color and that should be about right. Stand back. They do look the same color, right? I've got a couple more that I can actually use for this, but I don't have anything else. My hope is once these start growing, we can actually harvest a little bit from them and replant them, you know, just keep going with it. And then obviously I'm going to fortify this area. If anything, this is just for testing. I've still got reserves of food. I've got dry meat over there, so I'm not overly worried about it but it would be really nice if we can get this going now look how dirty that water is i've never actually noticed that before look at it in the watering can it's disgusting all right can we actually put you back inside it because i wouldn't mind keeping hold of every bit of water that i can have yeah i think i've decided i'm gonna set up my own furnace somewhere because having to keep going from here back over there every time it's just kind of getting a little bit repetitive so I think it'd just be easy if we had everything here. All right, let's see what we need to make this stuff then. So we want the hunting arrows. How many can we make? Okay, that'll do. Nine should be way more than enough because it says has high damage and it could kill a person in one shot. But we're not actually going after a person. We're going after animals. So we've got the arrows now. And how long does that leave us with this? Okay, we need like 5%. Is the mist coming in? That's actually kind of perfect because... If I can sleep, I mean, it's gone in the afternoon now, which is when I really wanted to get out and do the hunting. But if we can sleep, I'll take on some fluids and food and then just kind of rest up until tomorrow. And then we kind of get a full day to play around with the bow and arrow if we can make the quiver with it. Let me just triple check that I will have everything. We go to this. I'm really hoping that this thing gives me eight leather. I think it does. I think I've seen somewhere that it gives me eight leather, like this thing here. But I'm not 100% sure on it, so... 10 components, 2 duct tape. We have everything else. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take on some food and fluids, get some rest, and I'll be back with you guys tomorrow when we can go and do some hunting. Okay, 8 leather, 4 duct tape, 4 sewing kits, and 10 components. That should be everything. Tactical quiver. And do we actually apply that into this slot here? Oh wait, no, actually it might go onto our character. I think there's a place we can put it on clothing. There we go. A tactical quiver with three storage slots available. So we go to equipment. There we go. We place it there. So we got ourselves a quiver now. I'm actually going to throw in some body armor as well. I do have one in reserve. When I was looking through a few homes, I found one in a case. There it is. Right. Let's equip that. And what gloves do we want? We've been rocking these, these brown ones that we found. I think we found these in the city, but I don't know if I've used these yet. Let's try those. Use these ones yet? These are kind of cool looking. Not really for hunting, but I mean, let's mix it up a little bit, you know? Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. So basically what I've just done there is right click on the quiver and it enables you to add the arrows. All I've done is just drag them into that slot. So now we can switch to one hunting arrow, eight hunting arrows, or just basic wooden arrow. What time is it? 8.44. All right, so with that being said, we're going to head out. I'm going to go up into the hills and I'm going to see if we can get ourselves a deer. There we go. That should do nicely for the vehicle. Let's keep it out of line of sight. Right, so... Let's break out the arrow. I've got the basic ones for now. I'm just going to test where the aim goes. Okay, so it's pretty much dead center in the screen. Do I lose that then? I can't get that one back. I wonder if that's the same for the hunting arrows. That is the reason why I made the basic ones, by the way. Just so I can see if I could recover them. I'm not wasting a full arrow then. So I'm just going to use the basic arrows for now. Try and get a beat on where I need to aim. And then once I get that aim down, I'm going to try and take a deer down. Well, I mean, I'm going to try and take it down anyway, but I think those arrows are going to be the one that does it. And it was anywhere around here where I saw them. They kind of just gather around this area. I think they're picking the berries from the trees. Maybe just scavenging the food that people have left behind. One th oh, there's one over there. You see it? The trees. It is coming this way too. 
Don't know what the drop-off's like on the arrows. There's a chicken behind him as well. I think that was just underneath him. Don't know if that hit. That hit. I think I caught him in the leg. Got one more basic wooden arrow. There we go, we took him down. That's one deer down. That actually works really well, so you don't necessarily need... Oh, wait, you can recover them. I think in just in some circumstances, you can get them back. What about this one on the hind quarter there? We'll take that one too. And we can butcher this guy now, so let's see what we can get from it, because we've done this with the bear before. What can we get from this? Just a little bit of meat. Nothing really from the legs. All right, I kind of want to take... What I got last time. I definitely want to take one of these animal hides. The fat, I'm not too worried about right now. I can always come back and get that. The food, I'm going to take two of those. Animal goats, in fact, I'll just take everything I can fill up with this then. And then how long is that going to take? Two hours. That should be no time at all to do that. This one's best for use. And butcher. Two hours. Hopefully the other day is going to stay in the area and the mist won't roll in. Because that's really going to mess things up. Getting all the meat, we're getting some more hide, which I can throw back in the tannery again. And the mist has rolled in. Shit. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. The infected are probably going to smell that carcass as well, so I want to get as far away as possible from it. Alright, I think this is where I'm going to hold up for a sec. Got a little bit of a bottleneck here. I've got the revolver with a couple of rounds in, so I'm not too worried. Let's see what we got. A couple of big chunks of meat, some animal hide, and some animal guts. I mean, if anything, that's useful. I can use that. But... I would really like to get another deer. I'm getting a little bit braver than I should, but I really want to know what these arrows do to an infected. I mean, even that is good news because that tells me that I can use the bow and arrow if the mist sets in and get rid of a lot of the infected quietly without them actually being attracted to where I am. You fire a round off with a gun while the mist is going off, they're going to come sprinting towards that sound. Let's see if we can use one more arrow. There we go. So that was like a torso shot. But I want my arrows back. There's one over there. We don't have to rush this. Let's take it really slow. Got that guy there. Okay, it works really well. Take that can as well. Mist is taking quite a while to clear. It's so unpredictable. Can I get any of my arrows back? Some medical supplies, some more food. Don't really think I can afford to spare anymore. Yeah, I've got three hunting arrows. I think I'm going to use that for the last deer. Make some more when we get back home. There we go. I think the mist is clearing up. There was a couple over this side. I just want to check that they're not still there. Nope, they both fell down. All three of them fell down. All right, let's just double check because I know... That, oh, God, there was four of them. Right there. I was just so focused on making sure that thing went down. Oh, there's one of them right next to the carcass. Now, does that mean it was eating it? You know? If it was me in this situation, I wouldn't risk it. I'd leave that thing alone. I wouldn't even try and cut round where there were any bite marks or anything. You just don't want to risk it, you know? Let's see if we can find another one. What about a chicken? So sorry, chicken, but... I'm gonna need you. Let's pick it up. 
Is that all we're going to come away with? Solo deer in the area. Yeah, if there was an animal in the area, or another animal, it's definitely not here anymore. I don't know if the mist has scared it away. I thought I caught a glimpse of a second one, straight after I took the first one down, but not seeing any sign of it. They usually just kind of hang out around here, and then when I make my way over here, they push themselves over to this side, but the only one I'm seeing is that one that we dropped, and I'm not risking it. So let's get back to the car. All right, Scott, let's see if we can get you to work. So let's assign you some work, cut down some trees. I bought task if in full. Pick up logs, pick up leaves, pick up stumps. Yeah, let's do that as well. Let's just do it for three hours. There he goes. I actually want to see him do this because this is the first time I've ever asked Scott to actually start chopping some stuff down. I, w I do want to break down that swing as well. Where's he going to go? There we go. He's doing it. Got a couple of cans of this stuff in there. In fact, let's just eat one of those. I can't afford to go through the actual can stuff now because I am able to hunt and just throw all of this stuff on here and dry the meat. This is going to take a hell of a long time again. Let's just go around this side. Throw the leather inside of the tannery because that takes a hot minute too. Right, we got at least a little bit more going now. I do want to know what's going on with the crops. Oh, you got something coming up. You guys see that? Okay, I've got to water it again. Really got to keep my eye on this. I don't want them to dry out and then just waste it. So let's just take whatever we got inside of this. And then water that little plant. We definitely got something blooming though. I don't know if that is that the right word. Is it is it blooming or something growing, I guess? <laughs> right, let's see. Let's put you up there for now. Drink it up. All right, so I've emptied the watering can this time in hopes that they're just going to keep growing and growing and growing. If that is the case, if we can grow stuff, it's going to be so useful. I am definitely going to have to keep an eye on it, though. Oh, yeah, these guys had a little bit of a fight on their hands while I was gone. And they've been taking some out as well. As far as I can tell, the infected that are carrying stuff, that means... Oh, my God. Look at all the logs that Scott's been through. Oh, yeah, this is really going to help. Let me just check these guys real quick. But as I was going to say, as far as I can tell, the infected that have got stuff on them is when these guys, either Scott or Rachel, have taken them out. Which is really useful because I can pick stuff up off them, as you, as you saw before when we were hunting. All right, I think that's everything then. So I think, guys, this is where we're going to end it. We've got Scott to work. I'm going to keep him doing it. We're going to get a whole load of logs. My plan is... To basically build walls all around the base. Make it look basically very apocalyptic. You know, with like these things all around it with the fires going. I really don't know if these guys can climb it. I don't think they can. Or at least I haven't seen them. I mean, I guess we'll find out. But there's got to be a way that we can fortify this area. Rather than just this, this fencing that we've got going on right now. Because, I mean, again, if it was us in this scenario, I'd be doing everything possible to make sure we're safe. And that is what I'm going to do. We did a little bit of hunting today. We didn't go down into the mine. I promise you guys, we're going to be doing that next and work out what that quest is from Scott. So I think for now, we are going to end it here. Before I end though, guys, I do want to say a massive thank you to everyone. I know you guys really have been enjoying this series and I can tell that from all the love that you guys have been showing. I have been reading the comments. I have been getting the feedback and I love everything you guys are saying. As long as you guys want this series, I'm going to keep going with it because I'm having a blast too. So for now, we are going to end. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>